Well, all right. So I want to link this back up to what you said uh, before about the three stages. Yep. Um, so my experience as a scientist is that my most valuable characteristic is the ability to be to be completely indifferent to the prevailing wisdom on a given point, right? And I think this is no, no personal for, stake in it. Well, I may even have a personal stake. I may come up with an idea that compels me that it's probably right, a hypothesis. Yeah, yeah. And I may advance it and have every single one of my peers say, that's garbage. And my sense is not one of, oh, crap, I've said something bad. My sense is, well, wouldn't that be delightful? If I'm as right as I think I am, then the fact that everybody else doesn't get this makes it even, <laughs> even better, right? Um, so my point is, that's not normal. I know that's not normal. And it's not normal for evolutionary reasons that are easy to understand. No, it takes a In lot general, of training to accomplish that. Yes, or a, a developmental environment that rewards it. Right. Sure. If you have if you have the right experience. But then again, you know, you said yourself again at the beginning of this conversation, think about the preconditions for that is that in order to open yourself up to that sort of criticism, you have to be supported in all sorts of ways, you know, and even a, so when I'm functioning as a scientist, I am trying to disprove my presuppositions. You know, I'll test them. It's like something. Something manifests itself in an experiment. Then I design three or four experiments to see if I can make that effect go away. And I do that because I don't want to propagate nonsense and I don't want to pursue nonsense in my own career. But in order to tolerate that, think about how we set up the system is you have to be a tenured professor to do science or have the equivalent position in a research lab. But your economic situation is stabilized. Your social status is stabilized. Like you're protected on 50 fronts and then you can open the door and say, okay, let's have some novelty come my way. And, and, and that, that's assuming that you're at a point where you can tolerate any novelty at all. You know, and more curious, more open, more emotionally stable, more intelligent people are more compelled by novelty and can handle it better, but still are, are ability our ability to handle it is pretty low and we will find environments that mostly um, reflect back to us what we want, most, most uh, comforting.